Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Uh, Super Jacob, Instagram, all spelled together. Follow me there. I already posted a photo of the of the new bag. I mean, the shopping bag, the new acquisition. So this is going to be an unboxing. Thrilled. Half a year in the making for this one. The second I saw it on the runway, I was like, contacted with his associate. Please, please, please. What I gotta do to get one of these um everything <laughs> is possible i'm not gonna say i was ready to sell a kidney because that's a really bad joke no i wasn't obviously there are way more important things in life uh but oh gosh it's been many years that something that good has come out from this part of the accessories within chanel so i'm super excited about that but before we get to the unboxing my merchandise is here. So I already posted a video. Here's a quick follow-up to that. You could check out in the bar underneath this video uh, in the States. And it's also kicking into Europe. Uh, Teespring um, has partnered up with YouTube to create merchandise for YouTubers, including myself. Thank you very much. Um, so you could see a bar underneath the video. It's also beginning to appear in Europe. If you don't see the bar, you could check out the link to the Fashion Bunker merchandise shop in the description box underneath this video, this t-shirt is in it, as well as many other t-shirts, hoodies, uh, male and female cuts. For babies, we got stuff as well. Then there's, uh, well, mobile device cases, stickers, posters, mugs, totes, what have you. Anything you, you know, your heart desires. The first collection is called Never Give Up On Love. That was the most appropriate thing to do for the first collection. Make a whole theme of Never Give Up On Love because I end every video with Never Give Up On Love. Uh, more collections will follow soon. So get your hands on it as soon as possible uh, because I'm not so sure yet how the structure will be, but as the collections change, some pieces are probably going to be taken out and then the new ones come in. But let's see. We don't know yet. It all depends how the future develops. So that's for the Fashion Bunker merch and you've all been waiting for this. So let's get into it. The bag has tissue paper on the inside. I love that Chanel tissue paper. ASMR moment, I always do that. As we open it, look at this. Oh, now everything changed. <laughs> I'm, I'm pink. Right, hopefully it's gonna turn back to normal setting. And then inside of the box, another box. I gotta put this. Chanel has changed their accessory boxes for eyewear. You can see that this is a pair of sunglasses. Now they're using the mattified, but like, mm, I would call it plain or like a single surface for the boxes. They used to have that grainy surface that looked like leather. Uh, now they, they, they went totally opaque on us. Here we have the information for what it is, but let's not show you the information. I always tell my sales associates, please do not take off the stickers because when I archive these glasses, I have a bunch of Chanel sunglasses. Um, I um, always turn them to the side where the sticker is showing. So the sticker also shows a photo or a drawing or a sketch of the sunglasses. So I can always know immediately what pair is in what box. Because after over 20 years of collecting Chanel sunglasses, you can imagine that there's quite a bit of them. And they are not so easy to find unless you are not very organized and structured. So... 19C, this is the Cruise Collection from 2018-19. The model number is A71287X08101 and then colorway S8060. Description, transparent slash blue. Now, by now, I think most of you who are Chanel lovers have guessed... Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a whole description. Ha! Huh. There's a totally new packaging made just for them. It's it's like a white box. It's like a white pouch. 
The lights are very strong, but it does say Chanel on it, like it's uh, white on white. And the back of it is Matelassé. This is so cool. It's plastic, it's not leather, but it tries to imitate leather. And it has a magnet clasp in the front. Uh, and then the softest microfiber I have ever touched uh, within Chanel boxes. This is amazing. And okay, here they are, they're inside. Okay, let's see. Ah, there they are, guys. And I'm just, as I'm pulling them out, in here in black, it says, Made in Italy, the package. Good. Because I've noticed that they're, um, they're uh, Chanel's microfiber bags for the Timeless Classics and the reissues are made in China. Hmm. Just a little side note. Okay, let's open these up. They do it. So this is the runway piece, Cruise Collection, La Pausa Collection. Only the translucent and black um, and blue lenses hit the runway. But if you check online, you will see that they list under runway pieces. Basically, runway piece means it's a boutique exclusive. Not every pair of sunglasses that's listed as a runway piece actually hit the runway. So I think that the, the terminology is wrong there. They used to call these boutique exclusives and they changed the terminology to runway within the website. However, I repeat, not all the runway pieces actually hit the runway. This one did. It's siblings, one being blue lenses, blue frame, and one being gray lenses and gray frame are also listed as runway pieces. It's the same model, just different colorway, but they did not hit the runway. They're just boutique exclusives. So let's put them on, shall we? I mean... Love. Total love. First of all, everything I see is the most incredible blue. Like, it's a blue that just relaxes you from within. It just cools and soothes your soul. It's amazing. I've noticed as I, as I was opening them uh, that there's also an explanation here, as well as a white uh, cloth to clean them. And the explanation, oh wow, oh my gosh, there's even a photo of them. Okay, this is brand new for Chanel. Chanel, the royal blue lenses of the Chanel Cruise Collection sunglasses. Not suitable for driving and road use. Okay, oh, that's all they say in 50,000 different languages, basically. Uh, all right, so you're not allowed to drive your car while you're wearing them. Be careful, all you YouTubers out there then that are kind of living in LA and driving your cars. Do not wear these because Chanel will not guarantee in, ca in case you have a car accident. Now, I, car accidents, I can imagine them happening because what happens now that I have them on, a lot of the hues of light are filtered out. So you don't see everything anymore. You literally see white tones they become very accentuated blue and then you black you don't see anymore black kind of like tends to disappear completely it's like a hole and then um i'm looking around the bunker uh everything that is a light color has turned blue and everything that is red or orange turns kind of brownish purpley because they get that blue hue on top of them, which means even they lose a little bit in definition. Everything is a bit more fuzzy and blurry, which is perfect. It's like being high, basically. You're just like, yes, this is how it should be. I'm going to go out and check these out, how, how, like, how they work on the outside. Amazing. And this is also one of those rare moments when I say, I'm actually going to wear these. I collect Chanel sunglasses since many years. I love to analyze them, to study them. But a lot of them are not wearable by me. They're either too small for me or they just have a very particular shape that is just very experimental and beautiful in terms of design history and um, further development of materials used for eyewear and what have you. But sometimes, once in a blue moon, uh -huh, there's a pair of sunglasses that uh, are runway pieces that I actually wear. And I love the way these fit me. They're big enough also for my huge head. And uh, the color is just so relaxing. I don't know if they're going to drive me crazy. They might drive me crazy after wearing them like, for two hours of seeing everything in blue. But then again, it's a blue rose case, guys. And for a blue rose case, you need blue sunglasses. And they're light as a feather. Now, of course, 
because they're transparent, you see even more powder. Wow, okay, now that I took them off, oh my gosh. Guys, I had them on for like long enough now. So when you take them off, all of a sudden you have, wow, everything is so sepia all of a sudden. My whole surrounding is almost, it's sepia. It's like, it's like a brownish gray. Everything is so much duller. I'm gonna put them back on again. Ah, much better. <laughs> this is insane. It's literally virtual reality. It's like two different things. By the way, while we're at this, do I have my, no, I don't have the Blu-ray here somewhere. I just, uh, thanks to your friend of mine, um, uh, who, uh, whose boyfriend actually let me know about this movie by John Carpenter called They Live. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the movie. It's a wonderful movie from the late 80s. Incredible. I'm just going to say one thing. Sunglasses are involved. And the main character of the movie are... So they Live. Check it out. Blu-ray and DVD. And uh, when... Well, sunglasses have a very particular power in that movie. And it totally reminds me of it because when I put these on... It's a different reality to when I take them off. It's just incredible. I'm going to try to come in close. I know the camera's really far, uh, but to show you that inside of the temples, uh, the it's like you have a metal temple inside the temple that is matelassé and it's silver. And then the plastic, not the plastic, well, the acetate, acetate is a sort of form of plastic. The acetate is then kind of put on top of the metal matelassé inner temple. And they're extremely light. You have a double C logo on the outside, outer part of it. They are made in Italy. Now, you know, I love my Chanel made in France. However, the Chanel sunglasses. Since the beginning of Chanel eyewear, except for the for the first first model and for a few haute couture shades, but haute couture and sunglasses, literally every 10 years, Chanel makes one collection with them. So that's a different story, but we'll get to that soon too uh, in another video. Since the dawn of Chanel, Chanel sunglasses have been made in Italy. Even the, the most historic ones, the chain sunglasses from fall winter 1992, made in Italy. All of that stuff that ugh, those people that I do not even want to mention, they're like Voldemort for me, uh, that promote for Chanel, um, all of those vintage 90s shades, they're all made in Italy. So Italy is that exception where you got to bend the rule. They're made there. And it's not like with Chanel bags where you know that their heritage and their roots and their tradition is in France. And Chanel has its own factory of bags situated in France, which only makes bags for France. In that case, you want to you want to buy a Chanel bag made in France, not a Chanel bag made in Italy, which would be made in a factory that is not owned by Chanel, but rather a factory where Chanel kind of just pays to get their bags done. And the same factory would produce, in fact, also for other brands. So nothing against made in Italy, just something against Chanel bags and mostly clothing made in Italy. Also, when it comes to Goussin accessories, you know, fashion accessories, uh, brooches, cuffs like this one, I like those made in France too, obviously. But sunglasses and eyewear, ophthalmic glasses, are made in Italy um, since the late 80s. Now, let's come in close. And I'm out again. Okay, so I didn't want to talk because the microphone is like behind me when I'm in the front, but what you saw here is a sticker. This double C will be peeled off. It's just there as a, a stamp of approval, basically, that these are 100% UV protected. So you just peel off the sticker and you're fine, you're good to go. I'm not gonna peel it off with my hands because I don't wanna leave fingerprints on the lenses. The lenses do have the Chanel uh, etching on the sides, however, this is particular to this model. Um, usually Chanel sunglasses have the authentication, um, their identity. Huh. It's like a serial authentication number. It's usually etched in the glass right down there. 
these don't have that. They have their code in the temples, just like the reading Chanel glasses, the ophthalmic uh, eyewear uh, would have. And um, each pair has its own code, only belonging to itself. And this code is to be protected just as are the codes inside of the Chanel bags, because these are going to be very popular. They already are very popular. And I'm sure a lot of fakes are going to be out there. So you want to protect those codes because you don't want the fakes to kind of get a hold of them and then write them down on their own glasses. However, I have noticed that mostly with um, replica Chanel eyewear, there's more details that they cannot replicate. No matter how hard they try, you always notice that, you know, well, I have a very trained eye, so I see it immediately. But you always notice the differences between the authentic and the fake. And it, it's not just about, you know, color or it, it's also about where you print the logo, how the font looks like. Uh, the shape of the temples is usually the curve is not always the same. The bridge, you know, on, on the on the frames is also different. So this is definitely going to be one of those pairs that will be copied like for years to come, I'm telling you, for years to come, they're going to be just as copied as the half-toned, half-tinted uh, Chanel sunglasses from 2007, around 2007, where um, the lenses were like half black, half transparent. Those were also, and still are today, copied a lot. And a lot, and be very careful online because a lot of secondhand resellers are selling the fake for the price of a real one, and then you're gonna end up spending thousands of dollars for something that when it was new, it was around 300 bucks. And now you're gonna spend for a fake thousands of dollars. Uh-uh, don't fall into that booby trap. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. And I hope you like the blue, the blues, the, bu the blue hues. And uh, if you do, please do thumb up this video. And let me know what you think about it in uh, my comment section down below. What do you think about these glasses? And also let me know if you managed to hunt down a pair if you have, congratulations to you, twinsy time. Send me your pictures or post them on Instagram and hashtag Super Jacob, uh, Blues. Hashtag Super Jacob Blues uh, so that I could see uh, you wearing your, your blue cruise shades. And also what I want to know from you in the comment section down below is what do you think about Penelope Cruz, Cruz or Penelope Cruz, Penelope Cruz uh, as the new face for Chanel? particular for the cruise collection 2018 slash 19 cruise collection called la pausa i want to know your opinions thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on youtube i'm also on instagram facebook and twitter and if you wish to help uh, sustain and see the channel grow i'm also on patreon also super deco also held together thank you so much to all my patrons that have pledged and are helping out the channel it's wonderful to see it grow I love you all. Never give up on love. Love you. Bye. Mwah.